I'm just going to talk because I'm making a video recording, just to test. So don't worry, I'm not going crazy. Alright, so I'm going to um, wire up this squirrel cage induction motor. Uh, three phase connection. Get some leads. So red phase to terminal one, white phase to terminal two, blue phase, terminal three. Now I've got that direct online. In actual fact, it would be better if I had that on the variable output of the auto transformer. Um, now with a balance load, you don't actually have to bring the star point back to a neutral, but I do it anyway. So I'll get some shorter leads. When you're wiring up a motor, the, the tidier you make it, the easier it is going to be for um, debugging, uh, finding out where you've made a mistake, because you can see it clearly. So I'm starting those points together, it's 4, 5 and 6 on the motor, just by using those short leads. And I take those back to neutral now, that lead just long enough, that's perfect. Now. This is a very quick connection. I haven't actually made any connections to the data acquisition module yet. Um, and we've got a DC motor on here because our, one of our dynamometers is out of commission right now. So that'll just act as a little bit of a load. Um, and uh, just to turn on. Plug in the three phase power. Check that that, turn, that uh, output is wound down to zero down here. Supply power. The data acquisition module supply is here. So we get one of those power leads. That's a 240 volt AC supply. And normally with the dynamometer that sits here, it would also have a 24 volt AC supply. So I'll hook that up there. Uh, just to give it a quick test run. Right. And if I go very slowly, you can actually see that the AC motor is running uh, counterclockwise. I don't know if you can see that on this video, but it's running counterclockwise. Now, if I swap two of those phases off, turning the power off first for safety, swap two of those phases around. And turn the power back on again. Wind it up a little bit. You see that it is actually going clockwise now. So by changing the phases, you change the direction of rotation on an AC motor. Take out the full speed. So it's unloaded full speed. So that'll do for now. This is a short uh, introduction video to the uh, four pole squirrel cage induction motor. That's everything.